In today's video, I'm decorating my home for fall with this adorable apple barrel. I started with some clothespins by taking them apart and removing the little metal piece in between. Then using hot glue, I glued up each piece side by side, making sure that the textured part was pointing outward. For my little apples, I took some air dry clay, rolled it up into a little ball and smoothed it out with my hands and then painted it red. I had gotten these baskets that you could put fries in and they came with this buffalo check paper that I decided to put inside the barrel. So I crunched it up and placed it inside the barrel to give it some height on the inside so I wouldn't need so many apples to fill up the barrel. Then using hot glue, I added in each apple and gave it its own spot, making sure to cover up most of the buffalo check pattern on the inside. I made quite a few red apples, but I decided to add some variety and put some green apples in as well. Here's how it looks so far, and I think it looks wonderful. For my next DIY, I had this sign from Halloween last year at Dollarama, and I decided I would paint it white. So I did have to give it two coats of white paint from Deco Art, and I had these take it to go cups from Dollar Tree, I decided to use one of the lids to make a wheel. I'm going to be making an apple cart. So I used antique wax from Waverly to cover up the wheel. And then I had these plastic pieces from a previous DIY. I decided to cut them up and use them as the spokes. Here's my wheel with the spokes all glued on, and then I added more antique wax on top. I decided I wanted to make a little shelf on my cart above the wheel, and it could hold faux apple cider, because, you know, in the fall, they do have those carts that sell apples, and that's what I wanted my little cart to look like. So I'm just using some clothespins that I had taken apart and glued them one on top of each other. I did give this a few rows and I staggered the rows so it would look more like a shelf. Then I had this paper and it is a little bag that I had gotten at Dollarama and I cut off part of the bag that stuck out and then I placed it on top of my little apple cart. Now where the whiskers were for the cat, I flared them all out so it would hold up my little awning. I added my little apple cider bottles filled with water and they did very much look like they had some juice inside. Just with hot glue, but it wasn't working because hot glue and glass don't seem to mix. So what I did was I took some Gorilla Glue, wood glue, and I added them on like that. And I just set it aside for a few minutes so it would stick. And here's how it looks so far. Then I decided I would add another little shelf so I made this little shelf using the clothespins again, and I'm obsessed with clothespins right now. Inside the little shelf, I put some holly berries that I had from Christmas and some 
faux flowers from Dollar Tree just to make it look like there were little apples on the shelf with some greenery. Once I did that, I thought I needed something on top, so I did add some more holly berries and some more flowers. I'm really liking how it's turning out right now. How do you like it? Let me know in the comment section below. This video is in collaboration with the Ladies of Elegance who are hosting Let's Ball for Apple Decor Open Invite. Make sure to check out their links in the description box below. Once I had all of the apples and greenery where I wanted them, I took out the antiquing wax again and placed some on the inside of the shelf just to define where the apples were and where the shelf was. I think it's turning out really cool. Next, I took another one of those chalkboard pieces and using my scroll saw, I cut out a smaller piece after measuring and I decided to make a little chalkboard sign. I actually got this idea from one of the people watching my live that night, Favi from Arrows DIY. She's the one that suggested it to me. So I took some popsicle sticks and I cut them down to give the chalkboard sign a border and then using one of the calendar pages actually the back of the calendar from last year I had this apple picture and I added it on I had some chalk markers from Dollar Tree and I wrote on the little sign apples 25 cents and cider four dollars and here's how it looks then using hot glue and a couple more of those clothespin pieces I added on this sign and here's how it turned out I think it looks adorable don't you and so perfect for your fall decor Add some fun to your room decor with this fall themed apple cart. It reminds us to celebrate the season of harvesting apples. Make your table, desk, or nightstand look sweet as apple pie. Place it on your counter or side table for a lovely fall display. If you want to learn how to make this cute, Harvest pumpkin fall display to add to your holiday decor. Click on the next video.